Hello listeners, my name is Sudha. Please call me Sue. Welcome to my channel, Read to Me Sue. I am here to read out books to you. I love reading, so I thought why not make videos where people where there are people who love to listen. In fact, I also love to listen. So, I thought let's make videos out of uh, reading out books any kind of books i am willing to read any kind of books be it academic books law business story books anything so yes i read different kinds of books and today today i got my hands on a book which everybody everybody like of my age in their childhood must have come across it has got lovely stories since i am from india yes i have got a hold of a book which is quite famous in india and it's called vikram betal and there are i have got this book i went to a supermarket and i got this book i thought why not read out some stories it has beautiful moral stories and i i'm sure everybody will enjoy it please take a listen but prior to that i would request you please please subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot it will really help me to go a long way and i wish to go a long long way so please subscribe to my channel and i'll keep on reading books for you <laughs> all right so so here we are we'll start uh, the name of the story I'll, i picked up a story it's called a strange decision okay long ago there lived a kind and powerful king called rajendra who ruled over krishna nagar He had an only daughter Sonika who was gifted with beauty intelligence deftness in archery and sword fighting Sonika decided that the person she marries should be better than her and be able to conquer her in fight The king made it known in his as well as in neighboring kingdoms what his daughter's desire was Many courageous and strong men tried their luck at fighting duels with Sonika They would say After all we have to fight a mere girl but Sonika would stun everyone as she defeated them with her dexterity and strength Udaya was the prince of Udaipuri who wanted to win over Sonika he was attracted to her beauty brains and brawn every day he got into the crowd which gathered to watch the duels between Sonika and possible suitors Udaya observed every move of Sonika and understood the strategies she adopted to defeat the strongest of men. He got ready to take her on after a few days of keen study. Expectedly, Udaya defeated Sonika. The king was surprised. He said, "Young man, what is the secret of your success?" Udaya replied, "Keen observation, your majesty." I observed and studied the strategies your daughter adopted to defeat tens of strong and skilled men. The king was happy that at last there was one person stronger and defter than his daughter. Unfortunately, Sonika said, "I fully agree that Udaya overpowered me, but I can't marry him." The surprised king asked her for the reason, while Udaya's face was a big question mark. Turning to Udaya, Sonika said, "Think over and find out the reason." Soon Udaya replied calmly, "I agree. I should not marry you." Both the king and queen were flabbergasted. Betal ended his story and asked, "O king, thou Udaya, O king, thou Udaya overpowered Sonika. She didn't agree to marry him. Why?" I think I may know the reason why. <laughs> But let's find out. I don't want to interrupt the story. Vikramaditya replied, "Udaya was able to defeat Sonika because he learned all the strategies of fighting by observing her. So indirectly, she was his teacher. In Indian culture, a teacher is revered and thus cannot marry a student." Both Sonika and Udaya realized that it would be wrong for a teacher-student relationship. to t- to change into that of a man and wife do you do like the story do you do like the ending did you like the reason of the story please let me know did you really like the reason why they didn't get married 
please let me know in your comment in the comment section and i'll come back to you with another story of vikram and betal see you later bye bye